Hello everyone, in today's video I am showing you how to play GameCube games on your Android phone. So I've previously done a video on PlayStation 2 games on your phone and that emulator isn't really that good. You know some games work okay but games don't really work that well. But GameCube emulation runs really well, uh, particularly in some games I haven't tested a lot so I can't say for others. Um, but yeah, the emulator is called Dolphin, you will need the Dolphin app. Uh, the raw app and use Chrome and settings to use the internet. So the first thing you need to do is go into your settings and then go to security. Go down to unknown sources and make sure that it's on so you can install apps from other sources apart from the Play Store. Then you want to go onto this website here. There will be a link in the description for it. Um, click on that click skip add in the top right and then you can get to this page so there's no current stable release for Android but there is in um, in development releases so yeah you can check them out so you want to scroll down to development versions and click on the latest one for Android once you've downloaded it you want to press OK and then when you've done it you go down here like that and press open it and you'll want to install it that's what you want to do it's quite simple most people know what they're doing then you can open up the app so if you have so the GameCube is here now I'll if you download a GameCube um, ISO file I'll put a link in the de description to emu paradise where you can get them from what you want to do is get the raw app download a file to your phone uh, for a game when you download it it should be in your downloads folder and here you have I downloaded, downloaded Pokemon Coliseum so you want to long press the dot seven zip file you want to extract here and wait for it to do that it will take a few minutes to do uh, depending on how big the file size is and what type of device you've got when that's done uh, I'll move on to the next step now once the file has finished extracting, you'll see here um, the .iso file and that's what you need. So you want to do what you want to do next is go into your Dolphin emulator, go to the GameCube section, um, press the plus sign and then also locate the download folder and then click on the Pokemon, uh, your game, whatever you've got the .iso file, click on that then it'll be there. So before we boot into the game, um, I'll have a look at the settings, which is this one here, yes, in the top right, the um, little cog uh, symbol. To click on that, there's lots of uh, settings you can change or enhancements, resolution, internal resolution, change that, anti-aliasing, um, anisotropic filtering. If you know PC gaming, you'll know what a lot of this stuff does. Um, show FPS hacks and stuff. You can there's lots of different things you can do for the emulator. Um, but yeah, so if you open up Pokemon Coliseum, the one thing that you need to do, which is configure your controls. So to do that, you want to swipe down from the top and then configure controls. So then you've got uh, you have the ability to move all your stuff around. So I'm going to move it so it's like an actual GameCube controller, what that will be like. Um, let's move all these out of the way first. So we put the A button here. We can have the X and Y around it. Move it over here. It really should be, be, uh, become preset, but obviously it's not, so not much we can do about it. Um, so I'm going to put this over here in the top right, put the Z and pull it around here, left up here as well, B button, um, and put that over there, and then the start as well, can put this in the corner. So really, is it, you know, you try to put it as the GameCube as much as possible, or you can just do it however you like, um, press done, and then you can start playing your games so yeah um, hope everyone enjoyed the tutorial if you would like to see uh, other 
console such as a PSP or a PlayStation 1, leave a comment in the, in the comment section. Leave a like on this video, consider subscribing and my name has been Alex and I'll see you in the next one.